For today's video, I wanted to discuss CAP, or SIN, C-I-N, which is convective inhibition. That is this right here on the skew chart. This is where air, in fact, warms as you gain altitude instead of doing the normal, which is cooling. So here on the skew T chart, if you don't understand, this is your millibars. This is from 1,000 millibars, which is your surface elevation, up to 100 millibars, which is about 50,000 feet. Here on the bar bottom, which is hard to read, we got negative 50, negative 40, up to 40 and 50 again in Celsius. This is your air temperature. So right here, this is your dew point in this gray line, which is not easy to see. And then same on the other side is your actual air temperature, which is this other gray line. So like I said, the cap is right here. And the cap is an important part in determining severe weather. So let's pretend this cap was non-existent. Let's pretend this, this gray line here discontinued straight up to here. You'd think that would make it good for thunderstorms because air can freely rise. But what that does is it prevents any buildup of pressure. So throughout your whole day, you just have a whole bunch of cumulus clouds all over the place just sitting right here in this area. Now let's pretend that this cap went way too far to the right. What happens is, regardless of how warm it warms up in the day, in any lifting mechanism such as a cold front, you just cannot break that cap because your air parcel rises and your air parcel is warmer than its current environment helping it rise but then it comes into this cap and then all of a sudden the air parcel is no longer warmer than this area right here preventing your air parcel to continue and rise now like let's say this is a perfect situation here what happens is so you can see the ground temperature is about 22 degrees celsius and then you have the cap let's say throughout the day and it's now 4 p.m. the sun has warmed up the ground and is now about 30 degrees Celsius. This gray line now comes up here. And the gray line would come to this point right here. Now suddenly there's no longer a cap. And once that point happens, all of a sudden the thunderstorms and the pressure breaks free and can erupt with thunderstorms very rapidly. So that is your very general um, understanding of cap. And if you have any other questions about cap, or any other terms that you might want to know, feel free to ask and put comments below. Thank you. So previously I just explained how cap works on a skew T-chart. I figured I'd visualize it pretending this air tank here is all your potential energy throughout the day for uprising air. And here this is your atmosphere with your cap literally being a cap as your lid on the atmosphere either preventing or blocking air to rise or freely rise. So like I said, no cap is bad. And plain and simple, you have uprising air, and the air just goes out into the atmosphere, and no pressure can build. All you have is a bunch of cumulus clouds building up right here. Now, like I said, a strong cap is bad, plain and simple. Pressure builds, but it just can't quite break the cap. Now, I said a little bit of a cap is good, because pressure can build, but eventually it'll break. We'll see if this shows how... Suddenly, the cap breaks and you get explosions and great updrafts.